day two. It's already starting off good. We had bulls bugling all night long. Right around camp, down from camp. Seems like the cows, sounds like the cows moved down, which is great because we're not hunting that way. We're hunting off this way. Cows are off that way, so we should have another pretty good day of elk action. But getting water set up and we're gonna get on the grind here quick. Let's go. It doesn't matter if the world is grown mad If we just hold on, if we just hold on, yeah The sky is falling and the world is grown mad And we sing our songs and we just hold on, yeah So if you're running, stop running What life, one chance, start living Sing it louder just to let the world know No, we're not nameless, we're not faceless We were born for greatness You guys feeling all right? I'm, I'm a little wet. A little sore? <laughs> no, I, uh, I'm a little damp. My uh, condensation level on the inside of the tent was a little higher than I would have liked it. Yeah, mine was too. shooting today. I'm gonna go kill that bull. They just bugled. So let's go do that. dead. These bulls aren't really they're not doing what they were doing last night. Could be because if we had, there was significantly more pressure up in some of those drainages so that could have them quiet. Could be us. We've been running up and down these ridges quite a bit so we might uh, it was substantially hotter today too. Also true. But uh, yeah they're just not doing what they were doing yesterday as far as how much bugling there was. A lot of action last night. We ran into one one possibility at the end of the day coming up this last ridge and we put a play on it and the bull just went silent um, we had a pretty good wind and everything so I don't know could be our sequence could be anything it's day two still a great day super active day bulls are were active this morning uh, we'll see what they do tonight and then we'll kind of make a game plan for him tomorrow he's shooting tomorrow so it's kind of up to him but we're gonna see, we're gonna see what they do tonight this ridge over here this morning 
got several of them torching off, so if they're back over there tonight, first thing in the morning again, we're gonna drop, head a different direction, hit a couple of different ridges we haven't been on. There's a bunch of good stuff over here too that we haven't even touched, so it's part of the game. It's day two. It's time for supper. Yeah, because I'm we, hungry. We did have a bull. I don't know if we even talked about that yet, but yeah, we had a bull come in uh, to the cow call fast uh, on the way down the one of these drainages that we were working. And he was on us before we could even get into position, and the wind was good. And then it swirled. Swirled quick, and it went right down at him. He was coming on a string, so. Uh, he bugled once, we tried to get set up, and he bugled a second time, gnarly, and then the wind switched, and then we heard him leave the country, so. That's elk hunting, especially archery, but it's still fun as hell. We're in elk. I'll give it a shot tomorrow. Yep. It's Good nice. night, guys. Thanks for sticking with us. Sorry for such a short video here on day two, but hopefully day three we'll turn the corner. I don't know what corner we're gonna turn, because we're still in bulls. We just gotta get one to do what we want. So. Or take four more steps. Yeah, or four. Well, that's doing what we want. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, guys. Take care. All right, Gary. So we're, we're all powwowing here, having a having a little a little dinner dinner date mandate. Yeah. And the, uh, I'm gonna watch where I step because Garrett didn't. <laughs> he, uh, uh, let's try to... He's up in it. Got his knee in it. <laughs> oh, you're a dirty girl, dude. Right. I wonder if you're gonna be wearing those to bed tonight. Uh, I hope not. <laughs> I can tell you one thing. I'm glad everybody here has their own tent. <laughs> you're not a man if you don't sleep in those. Dude. No, I sleep in it. Whoa, <laughs> dude. It's also Jesse's first time using a jet board. <laughs> Do I have any brows left? Okay. No, don't stop. You already got Jesse, it going. Just... It had to be filmed. Oh. Okay. last night the mountains pretty quiet but it was dark no moon so we're in the we're in the good good part of the month good part of the moon phase so I'm not really surprised I didn't hear much last night we did put a few bulls to bed back here behind us about a mile up um, a different direction than we went yesterday I think Chad's gonna go this way he's shooting today I'm calling so this is the part where you know it starts to get challenging you either like elk hunting or you don't so <clears throat> Opportunities yesterday, <clears throat> close calls, day one, two, so hopefully we can keep up the trend of getting into elk on day three. Maybe we can get it done today. Thanks for sticking with us, guys. Hope you're having a good season. See you on the mountain.
Everything went quiet yesterday. We had some action last night. We had one pipe off this morning, but he was headed up. <clears throat> we tried running him down, but we held him up for maybe 10 minutes, but he just was gone. So it's time for the rally cap until we start hearing some bugles. All right, let's go find us a bull. Let's go find us a bull. Assassin mode. Assassin. <laughs> well, that big, that big white front might make you look like a better. A better. Yeah. That's what... All right, Garrett. Yeah. You got to join in on the rally camp, bud. Right. I mean, Sean brought his bow with, so we'll see if that if that stays true. Cause you all saw what happened day one when I didn't bring my bow. I told you, man. He was close enough. All you had to do was go wrestle him. It's only six or seven hundred pounds. I mean, you do those wild horse races, why not a wild elk race? Well, they don't have horses, don't have horns, and at least I get a lead rope. So mm -hmm. it's a little different. This is definitely more western. <laughs> I chose life. I got kids. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was a chance. That was a people. So he's up there, so we're gonna get up on the ridge and go find this bull. You said I'll hike anywhere no matter what. I think we have that on film, dude. Yeah. I'm here. I'm just saying. This guy's like, let's side hill it. We did. We go, did. go straight up. We did. I'm like, all right, I'll let him know. This is definition of straight up. We had a small herd work right into us, but they caught us off guard. They came in quietly. We had a terrible wind. We had no idea they were there. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get into a position where we could make a play on these elk. And they picked up their pace and moved right on past us. I 
these things are going to disintegrate by day six. <laughs> I'm going to probably end up taking a creek bath anyways. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll just make sure I'm not getting water downstream from that mess. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a probably 12, 13 mile day. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a long one. We ain't getting back to camp before dark. Wind's starting to settle down, though. Yeah. Let that sun pop up a little bit more and get some constant up thermos. It's because it, yeah. it's it didn't rain last night. Which also might be the reason it's like one of the slowest days we've had so far. <laughs> that definitely wasn't me. <laughs> I, I think we have a grizzly downwind. These trees are creepy. <laughs>
Join us on the next episode as we wind up and down this ridge to try to work the wind in our favor in order to get close to these bulls and watch Chad drop in for an opportunity.